this is my Fastlane prediction video. So Fastlane is the final pit stop heading into WrestleMania 34. I don't really think that Fastlane has ever been a great pay-per-view, so to speak. It's always been a filler, always been the final pit stop going into WrestleMania every single year. So with that being said, this card has really been trying to come into focus as of late, trying to solidify uh, all the feuds heading into this show. And for me, it's just kind of falling flat, definitely. It's definitely not a show that I'm excited for. Similar to Elimination Chamber, it is very much a filler pay-per-view. And I don't really know if it's going to live up to my expectations because I don't really have any expectations going into this show. I'm probably only excited for one match, to be quite honest with you. So we'll get into that in a little bit. So starting off, we have the US title. We have Bobby Roode defending his US title against Randy Orton. So for this match, I obviously think Bobby Roode has to retain. I don't see Bobby Roode losing this quickly. I definitely think he's going to hold it at least till Mania. Um, the big question is, where does Jinder Mahal come in? Because he's kind of been in the storyline as well. So I don't know if they're holding Jinder Mahal off until Mania for a triple threat match or something of the sort. I definitely think Bobby Roode has to retain here. It would only make sense and I wouldn't have Bobby Roode lose this quickly in his title reign. For the tag team championships, we have the Usos going against the New Day. So in my opinion, this was one of the best feuds of 2017 and I'm super excited that it's leading into 2018 for Fastlane. This match kind of came out of nowhere, but I'm not complaining because they had some of the best matches of 2017. These teams work excellent together. They are so in sync. Like the synchronicity is perfection with these two teams. They just know each other so well. So I'm not complaining by any stretch of the imagination. I think this match is going to obviously be match of the night and it's going to be amazing. So I definitely think the Usos are going to retain here, but it's going to be amazing and that's all that matters to me. So I'm excited to see this match. Up next for the Women's Championship, we have Charlotte Flair defending her title against Ruby Riot, my favorite. I love me some Ruby and I love the Riot Squad so very much. I actually like this feud. I know a lot of people said it was just plain and boring. And while that might be true the way that they wrote it, how Charlotte defeated two members of the Riot Squad and Ruby defeated two members of Charlotte's not necessarily a faction, but our two closest friends, which is Becky Lynch and Naomi. I low-key hate that Ruby is getting pigeonholed into this filler pay-per-view right before Mania because I do believe that Ruby definitely could be a really good uh, opponent for Charlotte heading into Mania. But I obviously guess it's going to be Asuka facing Charlotte because they're withholding information on who Asuka wants to face. So obviously it's going to be Charlotte. Everybody's waiting for Charlotte versus Asuka at 34 and clearly Asuka is going to challenge Charlotte because they are withholding information on who Asuka wants to face. And if she really wanted to face Alexa Bliss, that would have already been cemented and set in stone. So the fact that they're withholding means that she's clearly jumping ship to SmackDown very soon, probably the right after Fastlane, that SmackDown after Fastlane. Truth of the matter is, is that Ruby is very experienced and advanced and I think that she's incredible on the mic and she has a fantastic look and she doesn't look like anybody else and I love that about her. She's truly unique and very uh, in her own skin and I love that. It's blatantly obvious that Charlotte Flair is going to defeat Ruby Wright even though I don't want that to happen. I think Ruby's amazing and deserves the title but Obviously, Charlotte versus Asuka seems to be the money match for WrestleMania. For the main event, the WWE Championship match, a six-pack challenge. You might as well make it an 83-pack challenge. Put the whole roster on SmackDown. Have everybody wrestle. This is ridiculous. We have AJ Styles, obviously, defending against Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Baron Corbin, Dolph Ziggler, and John Cena. What I gather from this is that they're trying to make it so AJ chances of winning are super slim and that he's not going to go on to face Nakamura. Do you think that their WWE is that dense to where they're not going to have this amazing, incredible 20 star match for Styles and Nakamura? It's been set up for a solid year in my opinion. You know. Nakamura and Styles haven't touched because they're waiting for this amazing epic encounter at WrestleMania. So obviously Styles has to win here and they're trying to lessen the odds because 
of all the guys that are in the current fast lane main event. I don't even know if they're going to add more. Who the heck knows? But for now, it's just incredibly stacked. <sighs> I don't have much more to say about the main event rather than AJ Styles obviously is going to win. I think I'm more so concerned with who the opponent is going to be for John Cena at WrestleMania because I'm very curious. A lot of people are saying Rey Mysterio, I've seen Bobby Lashley being speculated online. I personally think these couple of names are just a diversion for Undertaker. I think Undertaker is still going to be there. I could be completely wrong and that's okay. I've been wrong before. I could definitely uh, eat crow and say I've been wrong quite a few times and that's okay. But I just don't see Rey Mysterio and John Cena and look at the marquee and say, wow, that's the money match for me. I cannot wait to see WrestleMania. Same goes for Bobby Lashley as well. When I see Taker, Cena, I don't think of it as, wow, five-star amazing match, but it is a lot more of a draw than a Rey Mysterio or a Bobby Lashley, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There is nobody like The Undertaker. He is one of a kind. He is a legend. He's incredible. Um, the only reason I could see him coming back is because he didn't feel good about the Roman Reigns match at 33. And it was a very bad match, in my opinion. It was terrible. So to work with such a safe worker like Cena, that's your best bet. So that's why I feel like Taker wants to go out on a good note. And his match with Roman wasn't good. The only reason I could see Taker not being at WrestleMania is because he physically cannot wrestle. That's it. His body has given up. So I could then see them calling uh, a Rey Mysterio or someone of that nature, even though it's very random and it's just not a big draw like an Undertaker would be. So that's why I'm curious to see who John Cena is going to face. But all in all, AJ Styles has to remain victorious here and he's going to retain his title heading into WrestleMania against Shinsuke Nakamura in the true main event. Let's be real. Yeah, that's shade to Lesnar because he's a piece of If you guys like this quick prediction video, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos coming soon. And just remember, I will be live every single Thursday on the Level Down Games Glow podcast. So please subscribe to my friends and I will see you guys in the next one.